guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing my oil cooler seals. Uh, that has been leaking for so long that there was a super thick coating of super old oil all over my oil cooler. Um, it was pretty thick, took me forever to get off. But now we're gonna do the seals. Um, there are four seals total. Um, there's two of one size, it's a little bit bigger, I'll show you guys that one, and then two other size ones, and I'll put the part numbers below the video. Um, I watched a YouTube video on how to do this, and it seems pretty straightforward, knock on wood. I always jinx that somehow. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get started on that now, and I'll show you guys how it goes. So I just used a 24 millimeter socket to take the middle bolt out. I'm just trying to get this last hose, which doesn't wanna come off. Okay, that was a lot of oil. Okay, so our little washer here is very, very, oh my goodness. Very old, very flat, not sealing anything in the slightest. I'm gonna use the 10 mil and take off these things. Oh, it does have like no pressure on them. Oh, there it is. Okay, there it is. Thank you. Oop, there's another thing that came out. Now where is this other seal this man was talking about? Okay, so I guess this part is supposed to just kind of Oh, yep, okay. Come off like that. That's what's supposed to happen. And we've got another leaky seal in there that was literally doing absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'll show you guys. There's this one. So this goes into your block, and then this screws into that with this bolt, so in between there, and then the oil cooler is on the very bottom. And all of that, there's four seals in there, and I'll kinda show you guys now. So on the top piece that goes right into the block, there is one orange O-ring, which I'll put the part number for underneath. And then underneath that on the platform, there's like a bigger, really thin O-ring, and then a little teeny black one in the middle. And then your oil cooler, I took it off, but there are actually two rings because one of them goes on the bottom and one of them goes on the, the part that goes into the head. So there's four seals and all of them were leaking on mine. So now I'm just going to like break clean everything so that it actually seats properly because otherwise those seals are probably still going to leak. Okay, so that is all break cleaned now and wiped down and ready to go. Okay, so now for the new seals that I drove two hours for because my city decided they don't want a dealership. They've got everything else, but no Subaru. So, so that's on the top part that goes in the head. This one's beneath it with the black seal. Goes like that. And then, hmm, ah yes, okay, I see what's happening. Okay. Then you have two orange gaskets. So the one, one of them goes on the bottom of the part that goes into the head between that and the platform. So that goes on the bottom. And the 24 was last. So this is the one that goes through the oil cooler. And this is the one we need at the top. Because, wait, what? Oh, no, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good, we are good. Okay, so the 21 millimeter at the top, the very top one, you want that to 33 foot-pounds. Okay, so then this platform goes back up into that with all of the little 10 millimeter bolts. Okay, so those 10 millimeter bolts are going to get torqued to 56.4 inch pounds. So 
So that orange seal that I was talking about earlier, that just sits flat in the top of the oil cooler if it would like to get in there. Cooperate. Ooh, there's a lot of coolant in there actually. Okay. And this is where our bigger bolt comes in again. That was the 24. Okay, and that last one on the bottom, we are torquing to 40 foot pounds. Okay, there's 40 foot pounds, and we are done. So now I'll just kind of show you guys. That is everything buttoned up. Just need to move this hose clamp back up and bolt that back down, and we are good to go. Okay, so that install actually was not that hard in the slightest. Um, it was pretty much just two bolts um, and four seals. So if your oil cooler is leaking, which it probably is, um, super easy to fix. Um, I will list all the part numbers and the torque specs uh, down in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching guys.